Defense Secretary Robert Gates has announced the size of the Army is being increased by up to 22,000. The secretary told reporters at the Pentagon Monday the additional troops are needed to help meet deployment needs around the world, especially in Iraq and Afghanistan. Secretary Gates says the decision was made by Army Secretary Pete Guerin and Army Chief of Staff General George Casey. The Army faces a period where its ability to continue to deploy combat units at acceptable fill rates is at risk. Based on current deployment estimates, this is a temporary challenge which will peak in the coming year and abate over the course of the next three years. Secretary Gates says the additional forces will be used to make sure deploying units are properly manned and not to create new combat formations. Currently, the Army's end strength is 547,000 troops. During that news briefing Monday, Secretary Gates and Admiral Michael Mullen reacted to a video released by the Taliban showing a U.S. soldier captured earlier this month in Afghanistan. The Department of Defense identified the soldier as Private First Class Bo Bergdahl of Ketchum, Idaho. He's been officially listed as missing captured. The chairman said the U.S. military is working hard to ensure Bergdahl's safe return. I deplore the exploitation uh, of him. Uh, and would just reaffirm what the secretary said, having been with the forces, in fact, who are conducting the operations to uh, recover him uh, or to, to find him, uh, is, is that they are extensive, vast, uh, they're on it 24-7, and we're doing absolutely everything we can to get him back. Private First Class Bergdahl's family in Idaho released the following statement through the Idaho National Guard regarding their son's capture. We hope and pray for our son's safe return to his comrades and then to our family, and we appreciate all the support and expressions of sympathy shown to us by our family members, our friends, and others across the nation. Thank you, and please continue to keep Bo in your thoughts and prayers. Be sure to keep it right here on the Pentagon Channel for the latest developments on this story. Defense Secretary Robert Gates and other DOD leaders were on hand Friday at Fort Myer, Virginia for a farewell, farewell ceremony honoring Army Secretary Pete Guerin. Secretary Gates and Army Chief of Staff George Casey co-hosted the event, praising Secretary Guerin for his leadership and, rep and presenting him with the D Defense Distinguished Service Medal. Secretary Guerin thanked both of them for the privilege of serving. Secretary Gates and General Casey, thank you for the, the kind and generous words. But as you well know, the Army is a we organization, not a me organization. Nothing that the Army has accomplished over the last several years has been done without the work of, of many people, civilians and soldiers, pulling together, working together. And it has been a privilege to work with that great Army team. Pete Guerin has been Secretary of the Army since the summer of 2007. Coast Guard rescuers saved three fishermen from their burning boat Sunday off the coast of southern New Jersey. The Coast Guard cutter Elm arrived on the scene early Sunday morning to see the 80-foot boat in flames. Coast Guard officials say a good Samaritan from another vessel had already recovered the crew from a lifeboat. The Elm, along with the crew of a Coast Guard rescue helicopter, quickly moved in and extinguished the fire and transferred the three fishermen aboard the cutter. However, Coast Guard officials say the fishing boat eventually broke apart and sank. Coming up ahead on Around the Services, point and click. Combat camera photographers play a very important role in operations Iraqi and enduring freedoms. See how their photographs can also provide critical information to help battle insurgents. Also ahead, historic occasion. Forty years ago, man walked on the moon. We'll take a look back at this big step in space exploration. Stick around, Sergeant Ted McDonald is back with more.